ESCO's RDOSCAD is the world's most popular structural design application for packaging. Unlike other generic CAD systems, RDOSCAD is designed specifically for packaging professionals. RDOSCAD knows packaging. The dedicated drafting tools make it easy to design great packaging. We design packaging flat because that's how the production equipment works. But translating between 2D and 3D in your head can be challenging. You could cut a physical sample, but is there a better way? With RDOS CAD, you can see your design in 3D with a single click. Even complex designs react just as though you were folding a physical sample. And with RDOS CAD's manufacturing tools, you can easily create all the required production layouts and dies for your single design. This eliminates any risk of file conversion errors between you and your die supplier. Now I present you or give you an overview about package designer. I'm working with uh, package designer version 21, uh, 21 21.10 more precise. In this uh, packaging library index, there are uh, about 1,700 resizable design uh, which Engview provided it to us and uh, it contains some design uh, will be open with package designer. Each design in the library has a two dimensional which uh, we see also the dimensions of each box, uh, part or component of the box. And we have also a 3D model effect in the PDF. I just uh, saved this with HTML. Hello and uh, welcome to an InView video. This is going to be kind of a two-part video. This first one is going to be a short video, just kind of go over the project. Um, customer questions. Some of my best videos come from question, customer questions. And then there will be a bigger video in the training session that will kind of show how we did it. But the question came in and it was, all right, so I normally design these inserts up in um, Adobe Illustrator because I don't have um, CAD, I don't have the InView standard. And how would I do this in InView standard and what are the advantages of doing that? So let's just kind of jump in. Um, but this was a, a an array of holes to hold some sort of product that had certain dimensions and um, offsets and this kind of stuff that I didn't have all the parameters, so I just kind of made everything adjustable. So first, let's just kind of jump out here real quick, and you can kind of see here's uh, here's our insert, and you'll notice there's a certain number of holes in this, and it goes in a box.
display materials and point of sales materials. Picador actually exists out of five separate modules that together form the Picador suite. And I shall go over them one by one to explain what they do and how they are connected to each other. The first module is called Backlip. Backlip is a database, a library of packagings. It contains standards such as the ECMA and the FEFCO standards, but also specific libraries based around point of sales, or of course your own custom libraries if you would like those. It also features adaptable designs Parametrics are very powerful tools within CaseMake. They can be used to make layouts for POP displays or packaging designs. To start a parametric, we go to our parametric toolbar, click Run. Then in the CaseMake folder, we'll go to Parametric Designs. We'll go down to POS, and for the purposes of this demonstration, we're going to go to Freestanding Display Units. We'll click on the first one. As you can see, we came up with a freestanding display unit that's capable of holding a variety of different consumer products. It could be bottled products, it could be something in the order of CDs, DVDs, or food products. From here we can change any of the dimensions of our freestanding display unit you know, to accommodate the particular product we want to display. For instance, if we wanted to display CDs, Right, so welcome to the Kodak Pandora packaging training. My name is Roland and we're going to go through some of the latest uh, features and options for a license. Normally you just need to enter that once, uh, either a software license or a print energy license. It'll get that and remember that. When you have that Pandora window open, create a new job. Should I be doing this right now? Yep. And um, when you have a new job, you will see two panels. Actually, the first of all, the properties panel on the left-hand side. Um, all right, so on the left, you're going to see your properties. This is uh, the job properties showing you uh, what's in the job. First of all, the, the middle tab.